My name is In Jie Chen, and I'm a 2015-2016 Fulbright Senior Scholar uh, conducting research on green supply chain management in Taiwan. My home institution is uh, Cleveland State University, uh, Cleveland, Ohio, and my host institution is National Zhongzhen University, based in Jiayi, Taiwan. My Fulbright project specifically focused on green supply chain management practice uh, in Taiwan. So I was very curious to find out what motivate you know, company, manufacturing company in Taiwan to practice uh, green supply chain management, or so-called go green. In addition, I decided to explore uh, what would be the challenges or barriers that company need to overcome in order to implement green supply chain management in Taiwan. They've come up quite a result, but you know, what really interests me is I found that many companies, manufacturing companies here in Taiwan, they practice green supply chain management primarily for two reasons. One is to comply with the government regulation, right? And the other is to avoid poor publicity. That's not very proactive, you know, per se. And so because I learned that a lot of research has found that for the company that has pursue green supply chain management more proactive, innovative, are the one who can profit from uh, green supply chain management practice. So the implication is that I believe manufacturing companies in Taiwan should go beyond uh, compliance to the uh, regulation. They should take more proactive, innovative approach you know, to practice green supply chain management. And by doing so, and if they realize that, more and more company will be going green or practice green supply chain management and just create a win-win situation for everyone involved. So the fact is that when the United States outsourced its manufacturing to the East, it also outsourced a lot of pollution. The problem is, you know, recently they have found that the smoke problem in Los Angeles can be linked to China. In other words, those pollutants has traveled all the way back to the United States. Right? On the other hand, we have found that you know, people in Taiwan has constantly been immersed in extremely high PM 2.5, you know, a standard probably 2 or 2.5 times exceeding WHO standard, and that's no good. So my theory is that if we can understand and also encourage manufacturing companies in Taiwan and data in China to practice green supply chain management, then taxpayer in United States, in Taiwan, could both benefit. In other words, they can all breathe better. You know, one of the significant barriers company here in Taiwan are very competitive. They have been operating with fairly low margin, profit margin. And therefore, going green means actual cost to them. And therefore, they are in general reluctant. So I believe once we publish our paper in academic journal or a professional journal like uh, Tian Xia and so on, I believe it would uh, make a significant contribution you know, uh, to improve the environmental you know, quality in Taiwan. Mm -hmm.